Shares of BioNTech, you probably know it as, BioNTech, BioNTech, uh, we've, we've heard them all, but uh, and Moderna, and some people say Moderna, I don't really know why, Modern, Modern, uh, Moderna, RNA, surging this year, that's creating enormous wealth for the people behind some of the world's top COVID vaccine candidates, and uh, I guess it's all relative, I mean, you know, Elon Musk, Robert Frank, looks at these guys like they're pikers, but uh, we would think they're, they're doing okay, I think. Yeah, Elon Musk uh, gaining $111 billion in wealth this year. These guys just becoming billionaires. You look at the rising shares of Moderna, BioNTech, Novavax, Pfizer, McKesson, all creating billions in new shareholder wealth, including at least four new billionaires. Now, topping the list is BioNTech, which, is, of course, is partnering with Pfizer. Founder Or Shaheen gaining $4 billion in wealth just this year. He just became the 463rd richest person in the world with a total of $5.4 billion. Now, BioNTech's founder, founding investors, they've done even better. The German twins, Thomas and Andreas Strungmann, they have added $7.8 billion to their wealth, giving them both net worths of over $12.5 billion. Now, Moderna, you uh, just talk, talked about that, Joe. They've created three new billionaires this year. CEO uh, Stefan Bensel, he is now worth over $4 billion. That's after cashing out $30 million in stock just over the past year. Now, Harvard professor Tim Springer, he was an early investor in Moderna. He's now worth over $2 billion. And then, Joe, you'll like this one. MIT professor Bob Langer He's worth over $1.5 billion. Springer recently saying he plans to use some of his wealth to fund a not-for-profit devoted to new antibodies, saying, I feel that I've had more than enough wealth for myself for some time. I don't feel I need more. By the way, their stock was up 6% yesterday, so he just gained another $60 million. But just think, if you had stayed at MIT and looked into RNA, maybe you could be one of these guys, Joe. Oh, I was looking into it. Uh, the, the lab next to me was Phil Sharp, won a Nobel Prize, uh, RNA splicing. David Baltimore uh, won a Nobel Prize. He was on the fifth floor. Bob Weinberg. There were all kinds of guys like that. It, my professor, David Hausman, started integrated genetics. Uh, Malcolm Geffner started uh, immuno something. They all became. I got out just in time. Uh, my timing was I, I decided, you know what? I want to be a commodity. I want to be a commodities broker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, anyway. Uh Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.